Okay, this next sequence will cover a couple of different things. One, how to get out of it when someone has control of the neck, like we just talked about. And the, uh, the move is one of the first moves I learned. I learned this at BJ, uh, Baltimore BJJ. I have read that it's called the reverse sumigoshi. And then we'll talk about a couple ways to finish uh, from there. So he grabs my neck. He has this control. What I'm going to do is grab his wrist. And this arm is going to come here like I'm throwing an uppercut. I'm going to push this off like this and head up. From here, there are a couple different ways you can finish this. If they have a gi on, I like to grab the seam and take all the slack out like this, and then pull it across, reach around and grab the back. Okay, now, I'm gonna hook behind his knee. What I like to do is hop forward and sit down. Okay, and then from here, you can see I kind of ended up on top there. I rolled all the way over. You don't have to do that though. Sometimes the momentum carry, like the momentum they're carrying all the way over. Otherwise, I'll just go to side control on the other side. So I'm here, break right this, Get this here, and then I can come up like this. Okay. Now, the biggest mistake I think I used to make with this is, and I still do occasionally. I think I have it, and I don't quite have it. I'm not really that close to him, and what I do is I attempt to use too much muscle, and I, I'll lay down and pull him, and I just basically pull him on top of me. So I'm here, and I don't have the leverage to kick him over with my leg. So what I need to do is really get underneath of him, so that. When he falls, he'll be falling over me. Okay, so one more time, please. We're here like this. Grab here. Get this off. Grab here. By the way, I like I use this in no gi too because you just grab the wrist here. So we're here. I think that one of the keys is to getting close to them so, so you don't have to kick them over with the leg. Four. Sit down. Come over. Okay. I do start good. So it looks like I'm using the leg to kick him over, but it's actually that might help a little bit, but the leverage and the principle of getting really underneath them is what's pulling him down there. Thank you.